Hi everyone, welcome to this class session on the neuroscience of mental disorders. There is a ton of information we're going to cover. We don't have time for everything and we'll try to cover as much as we can in as much depth as possible. So let's give, in, give you kind of an introduction to what we're covering in class this week. Now, of course, you had some uh, different articles to choose from to read ahead of our class session. We're going to be looking at a variety of diagnoses and try to understand the neuroscience behind them as best we can. We'll look at ADHD, autism, depression, schizophrenia, seizures, and traumatic brain injury. For ADHD, we're going to be looking at meta-analytic data, trying to understand the difference between healthy controls versus people with ADHD. We'll also learn about what happens over the course of the lifespan with ADHD and gray matter volume. We'll also look at what happens with medication and the role of medication in ADHD treatment. We'll also look at a fascinating insight into remitting versus persisting ADHD and what happens in the brain over time uh, for people who are able to reach remission. Then we'll move into learning about autism. We'll look at the impairment in the frontal lobes, difficulties with recall of faces, and also look at some uh, hypotheses for autism that haven't been proven yet but are fascinating, such as the alternative APA hypothesis. We'll move into depression. We'll learn about the hypotheses for depression, such as the monoamine, neuroplasticity, glutamate, and medical hypotheses, all of which I think have a pretty important role in understanding depression because there are just different forms of depression, really. We'll also learn about postpartum depression and what happens in the brain during postpartum. And we'll look at the relevance of MDMA as a receptor in depression. And we'll learn about socialization behaviors relative to MDMA, learning about, uh, for example, the, the functioning of mice who have um, impaired MDMA receptors genetically. Then we'll learn about schizophrenia, the enlargement of lateral ventricles, gray matter during the teenage years and what happens over time with schizophrenia. And we'll learn about how, unfortunately, schizophrenia can be really classified as a brain disease in many ways. Then we'll learn about seizures and trying to understand seizures through the lens of EEG. And we'll learn about traumatic brain injury. We'll learn about different types of traumatic brain injury. We'll learn about the progression of traumatic brain injury. We'll learn about the Aaron Hernandez case and what that tells us about uh, traumatic brain injury. And we'll conclude by learning about functional recovery to a certain degree from brain injury and what tends to be a good predictor of recovery. And that'll round out our very full class session learning about the neuroscience of mental disorders.